break in history at CECC. And there it is! Both platforms online and dip will take it home. What a game. Take a big relapse, take a bow, and take the headset off and start to yell. Forces a jump with it this time in the booth stand shielded. Homies, welcome on back to some more CCC action. I am Rob Survivors. This is Rash Man the Internet. Joey here by my side. Uh, the absolute wonderful Zoe And we are here for semifinals of some of our end. that right? Yes, it is. The East Coast Conference brought to you by Esports U. And we're checking out Malloy University versus SNHU Esports. Last time these two teams met, it was in that group stage where SNHU Esports took it 2 1. So Malloy looking for revenge. <laughs> Yes, as they always have been pretty consistently through every single time they've met, which is a tragic affair, yeah. but one that I hope for the best for them. And as you go into today, as well as we do have, uh, I believe, you know, we are shortly away from, you know, going into our first map as well, which should be a lot of fun. But actually, SNSU has continued to be the stronger team throughout this both bracket and through every single time they face this team. 
as as right now though where we'll be seeing them let's find it out zoe our map picks are ready for you. Malloy starting us out strong, choosing Icebox. Map two will be Bind for SNHU. And if we go the distance, we go all the way. We will be ending on Sunset. And now, Ravish, I was really uh, interested in this map pool because Icebox, both of these teams have some pretty interesting compositions. Uh, you're, you're skeptical that we'll see the Yoru pick, but that is something uh, Holy likes to pull out here. Uh, for the side of Malloy. And then there's that double duelist composition for SNHU that we'll see if they reprise. But these are two teams that have definitely been adjusting and changing between the group stage and, and playoffs. So they keep you on your toes and keep the opponents on their toes. So we could really be in store for anything here. Yeah, I, I think the Yoru is cool. Look, no one loves Yoru more than me. I've been on his side since day dot when, mm -hmm. you know, when he had fake footsteps. So that was my guy right there. But okay. that... uh that makes it tough as you know he is currently strong one of the strongest agents in the game but we see him doesn't matter because we're not going there first naturally right we do have a bit of time as we look towards the agents like going towards the first map snhu and there it Malloy. is already okay wow you know i'm proving wrong all right now holy mm -hmm. i'm gonna just see a superstar performance all right let's see it let's go <laughs> yeah you definitely need a superstar performance because the last time you went up on this map against snhu you lost it 13-7 but that was with the old malloy compositions the lions are here to roar now with this new double duelist this new yoru look versus oh, a new composition again coming out from snhu i'm not gonna lie to you when i saw that lotus and ascent were were not a part of this map pool i was crying because i wanted to see the nami or hilton deadlock because no teams no opponents have been able to pin it down and i was thinking icebox is the strongest deadlock map we saw you know eg do it and now nami's doing it <laughs> well i'm i'm all for it. i think that looks very cool she's extremely underrated and mm -hmm. as you mentioned as well that does make it hard when you set her up in the right directions to be able to actually get past her util, her traps, and just her stupid, stupid wall that takes an entire clip oh my God. to actually break. Uh, but <laughs> as you just mentioned, I was like, I am fascinated to see what both of them do manage to bring out. On one end, perhaps do the Supreme with Holy. On the other end, Nami, they're going to hold them on the outside. I actually have to see as time Ooh. goes on. But we got the Deadlock and the Harbor. That's my cousin up there. Let's go. I actually really, really like that pick. I, I, I completely agree. But what I'm concerned with is the fact that that deadlock is replacing the duelist. So they truly are embracing that EG mentality. If we don't need a duelist, we have a deadlock. Nami being that duelist player, it makes sense. We'll see if they have that kind of same aggression as uh, Mr. Jagabo. But on the other side of things, I mean, you when you look at the two duelists that Malloy is running, that Jet and that Yoru, Yoru is like the perfect counter clone into the Sonic Sensors. You know, gate crash past it, it doesn't matter. That's gonna be how you overcome Nami. Jet, on the other hand, Reventus has to be really careful that they don't get caught on those entries on that proactivity that you normally like to see from that duelist. Exactly. Uh, now, will they do, will they pull off the young jaw? I don't know. You know, jaw's <laughs> a special kind of character, but- That's true. You know, <laughs> They, they themselves, it's going to be tough. And on Icebox, the one thing I'm looking forward to is going to be the area take side for SNHU. I find A side has been the most tumultuous from watching this pro play and collision in general because of the flood util that, that, that does come in at the drop of a second. But right now, there are four set up outside looking for perhaps a mid poke with a killjoy naturally lurking. Standard stuff. Really as well from Frank just to grab that info but hearing as many footsteps as you do yeah you place that kill to you, you fall back to weather the impending storm off of that toxic screen from your viper from case so now they're actually falling off they they think they made enough noise to draw some numbers and that killjoy pushed up as far as they are be main they should know there's a barrier mesh there so I'm empty what they're gonna do probably heard a drop and that that does go away now like they'll either euro behind after taking the orbs just to try to catch anybody looking to flank but i don't think they're gonna fall for it not honestly on this issue side i just look pretty far back from they meander onto the b side get trapped and that's a clear range that's a one for one two for max as they open it up that is the b side basically for free nami falls as well to bliss so now completely vacated the last two remaining members on oh. that rotation they locate one but Rebentus not eager to take the fight they know time's in their favor and they even know that it really is max is on the longest lurk flank of their oh, life and oh. with the perfect timing they tally three onto the round nice they go left in a 2v1 Timing. but exactly 
4K for it really is Max, and they're the one to get Malloy their first round here on Icebox. Ooh, it was tough, but Max, the really solid start. Open at two at the beginning, get in through mid, get the plants on as well, and have the know how to reposition back through spawn again. Mm -hmm. Huge flank comes back through kitchen and cleans up with the four, or else I find that actually could have easily been as an issue's round because as the rest of them entered in through B main, they were all just picked off. It didn't, yeah. wasn't close to fortune with the gunfights, but here though, four MU. You know, good start. Pistol on their way. Bonus and a Vandal already picked up as well. Let's see how they make use of it. I love Hero Vandals here, but SNHU has to get no, traded. No, 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 no. no, they stick the spike. And as a result, Frank, that protector is taken out of the picture. Hilton walking away, limping away there with their life. You can see, again, they fight an initial frag. Then they reconsider the rest of their presence on the map in the form of Ollie. And, and Max now falling back to make sure there's no flank, to make sure that if they want to plan B, it's available. Doesn't seem to be so as right now. Uh, because the, the one of the one pick with Camille the Orb. Still waiting around A to see the rotations have come in. They faked it, but they're all waiting on the outside. Spikes and luck come in. Hilton looks up top, but he can't fight up against him. Just some shots put down. But one taken by Sick, you two with the classic. He's running around, dealing down headshots. It's 2v3. Yeah, they've been insane. Last round, this round, but ultimately doesn't look like it's enough. Malloy still up in numbers nice. until Hilton hits a shot like that. And with Holy this low on HP, this round now looking like it's on the brink of destruction. But the job is not done. Nami trying to find a frag out. Hilton as well trying to close in, get that weapon up for uh, but that might just be at the backstab off of the flash nice. there from Holy and 2-0 from Malloy. Not as clean as they would have hoped, but a round's a round. Yeah, exactly. Now, I was hoping they would be able to get some upgrades as well too, mm -hmm. especially with the gun that was dropped in their vent. That would have been ideal to pick up, especially with the deadlock, you know, and try to go around from there. But then in a situation like that, it's pretty 50 50 that you are taking. You get a bonus here. That's huge for SNHU. You're able to bounce back and make it 1 1. And the next run, ideally mm -hmm. and completely in your favor. But they do enough damage as well. Right now, for Malloy, like, yeah, they're okay. It's, it's, it's a tough buy. What they got like their pockets are running kind of dry <laughs> so they the, the most of it though they'll definitely have to lean into the hero vandal and that hero guardian uh, that i saw i think that's also why they're going for this mid exploration route to see if they can maybe find seku alone find one of these solo players for snhu versus if they go into a site there's almost guaranteed to be more than one unfortunately though all they get is trades of utility and they're gonna potentially even run right into case here nice proactive flash to get an oh. opening pick as well so that's a free vandal yeah he he it now with this too they're all rotating over on to b they have this side open they're gonna they're gonna go for defense but they're not actually peeking into the angles just yet they hope to plant down next but one piece on snowman it's three stacked up by yellow snhu you can see to fight this as they should, I mean, this comp design more for a defensive hold than a retake other than maybe that Harbor Cove and nice. Sekio again, potentially the difference maker here for SNHU, Dang. might just put Malloy to bed this round, a 2v3 now favoring them, 30 seconds left, high tied up as well to re-deny that space and upon the exit, Revenge is mowed down by Nami and that Phantom, so it really is Max left reeling, left regrouping and making a run for the A side, but that information's been given away as well. Now that he's seen, I they are rotating over to to, to hunt him down. He has a time to plant. Oh, but he got the deadlock trap, and he walks in. Aww. It's gone. So we love those sonic sensors. We love our global utility. You can catch those rotations if you're eager. If the clock is up against you. So that's the first round for SNHU in pretty flawless fashion. Only gonna have to buy up one additional weapon, which is gonna go to Case with that light shield. Versus now it's gonna be that full buy back out of Malloy. Not many ultimates to work with just on the table yet. Seikyo most noticeably won off from that uh, lockdown for a retake. It really is Max as they get into a post plant. Can rely on that insurance policy as well. But Nami, they're now in the hot seat. They're on that A site, which is where I think the deadlock is more favored, right? You have that really mm -hmm. aggressive choke point here right next to the orb and you're already getting pinged out it's going to become 10 times more important why is that's an early under fury i mean hoping to see if pushed them backwards for anything i believe they got two pings from just that alone look at the health bars they've just been one but 
Information taken on the last Rubens is paying. He's just gone. Spray through. Now, now we can just hold him off. There's no orb to be taken. If I'm M, if I'm a lawyer, I rotate here. I mean, the early frag on day has been eliminated. You've confirmed where the deadlock is playing, so I completely agree with you. But they really need Fliss to have oh, gotten that frag to open timing. up a rotation to the B site. So now, I mean, they're left in spawn with no real options other than Holy here. You have to contest on to Case here and hopefully win it out. They're the pioneer now for the team. Last connected, no one sees the head as one. Taken away, spikes not down just as of yet, hiding around the orb as well, waiting for backup, but no one's coming around. Jesus says, luckily, lives up to his name, but Elton doesn't see him. <laughs> that timing. He sees the gun, drops down. All right. There's annihilation, sure. though. Yeah. You tap and you get deadlock ulted. No, there it is. There it is. And even yeah. if you don't capture somebody, you funnel them into a frag, but ultimately. It's rated back and Jesus save saves the round here for Malloy. Okay. All right. Everything else made sense. You know, that was, to be fair, SNSU's round to win, I would say. Yeah. But aside from that, you know, she saves getting clutch pick, clearing our kitchen. The gun was peeking out, so that was a pretty obvious take. Aside from that, Nami, all right, brother, why are you jumping? Just have you, you know, they're there. You just have your gun out. It's a 50 50 peak. You know, it's just options are more definitely there, but perhaps or it just survives alone. But either way, it's a <laughs> slow save all around right now for SNHU. So, Night Shield, let's see if we can bring it back. I like this attempt to fight mid as well. She saves, saves here on the lurk around they've cleared out kitchen position as well but look how forward they are and look how they don't overheat they get one they get out they take the numbers advantage and run jesus says yeah it's <laughs> another massive pick to keep them in the game and allowing them to at least get a good plant off to the annihilation and pit pit over by kitchen and now by, by the plant this is a tough routine for snhu I don't have much as well. The wall to cut off towards the back of the side. Viper is not gone on the outside of the plant. And Ooh. she's actually really outside of the pit up top kitchen. Frank takes one and the Drop pit drops. It? Interesting choice here. I mean, I like the code to partition to isolate these fights, uh, but ultimately you can always only use so much utility at the end of the day. You have to win the gunfight and Jesus saves. It's going to take that again for... Malloy, a huge lurk route with impact frag after impact frag there from Malloy. And I agree with Natlas's decision to take this early timeout because the defensive half is where this composition should shine. You don't have a duelist. You have a, a double sentinel and a double controller for crying out loud. And you're letting a lurk player slip up through B. Uh, I, albeit it was an eco, so you might not have had as much utility to rely on, but those are major lapses that need to be addressed sooner rather than later before, you know, you're more than three rounds behind your opponent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, uh, I find this could definitely have been a bit more advantageous around round three, but now better late than never, right? You want to try to, try to shut the bleeding, especially as you're looking at gunner after gun round being lost by inches because you're letting a Viper get the, get the deepest looks possible going around the map, and we're just simply not noticing where she is now ideally it's because you're looking to play double off at the same angle but then that's then leaving you off guard off key and now off the game snhu remember we said they've never lost them brown to malloy except just one yeah and here right now m malloy three up on icebox looking good uh, i'm excited to see that what natalis is cooking up here remembers on a Arbor teetering between the two while uh, a Viper wall case will be headed on to the B site. My only concern here is that the stack is towards the wrong side and the blades are trying to go gun ho towards Case in this defense and them just dry peeking this. It's definitely a gamble. Who's next? Things slow. Just the info. Ooh! Case with a nice shot, but the Yoru actually commits to being on the site. He's stuck behind yellow, so he just put out the heart to Fury, yeah. 
Just nail them all in the chokes. That's another one. Nice peek by Rubentis. Still leaves them. Stuck with two. Huge denial. And still less than a minute left on the clock. High tide up. Rubentis has to do some work, but unfortunately, if you're getting sprayed through the high tide, there's not much you can do. And again, therein lies the Sonic Sensor. So an extra layer of security for Nami here. Holding this close angle, the 50 50 gamble towards the turn wrong around. side. Yes, turn around, especially when your team's taking frags, but okay, uh... thank you. Protect Nami in kind. Ensure that that turnaround after the timeout goes in SNHU's favor. A great start, but I found one that was more so caused by the overcommittal of Malloy, where they were just down to just, you know, invest into just trying to rush into B. Doesn't work out. They pretty much leave the Yoru for death, and with the heart of security left, now rotate stuck in the chill. Down two, ASAP. Mm -hmm. So, hey, not a bad start. And now, most importantly, though, they have lockdown available for Seikyo, who is 10 and 4. <laughs> And mind you that Seikyo actually isn't even used to this role. They're usually the controller for SNHU. So that's one of the, the changes that they made here. Coming into a new icebox against what well, seems to be a a new Malloy. But regardless, still trailing and still a first blood in Malloy's favor. This is not what SNHU wants to see. They need to start tying rounds together to catch up. See. Blur taking ball. Oh, good timing by Case. Take one, repeat, not gonna happen. But finds the info at least knowing that they were all kind of meandered by mid. Mm -hmm. A not committed to right. There's all playing off sight and they're gonna go through two. But last time they did this, that's a heavily committed with alts. Oh, they've been picked off because of timings that have happened. And there it is. I mean. An insane gamble of double stack of sentinels towards A while Hilton's fighting for mid control to, to funnel them back towards A and not gonna work out too much. They finally will lose grasp of that and fortunately Case is anchored here on the B site so that it will be a late round contest and as you see the pings come through they want to head towards A so this alarm box is gonna have contact. Nami should be able to reposition off of it as well but Nami put your headphones back <laughs> on sir all right that's a frag but that means again, all the way falls to Saikyo! And beautiful denial for both frags. Get us into a round back again. Navi just doesn't see them walking in. There's an alarm them, but... You don't need to see it. <laughs> but it's. Again, it's far because Saikyo saves the day. Another double chalked up for the KJ. As we're holding up, waiting for the entrance. Mm -hmm. And it gives SNHU two big rounds in their favor. Mm -hmm. And now for Malloy with the way that he goes looking after this one. If they're gone, if they lost this, that's going to have to be a save you get for the side. Frank spotted, allows him not to get pinged. But the pit on B, though, is going to tear some options. I love Hilton though on this angle. They fought in tube. Now they're fighting for tube through the window. Excuse Unfortunately, what? Rebentis trying to split the attention here. Nice shock dart, night drone. But again, look where Jesus Saves has inserted themselves. They're past it. They're in the kitchen. And they're already making the wraparound. This is dangerous defense, and it's a huge gap that they'll take advantage of to reopen up mid as an option. My concern though. Still that deadlock to deal with. Still that killjoy utility to deal with. And Seikyo, all right, you just wide swing. You don't even care. The big pick for Seikyo and managed to get out as well. I think Max might have seen him, but yeah, the re-pick is going to be crucial. As he finds the timer, there's two moving up top now. They know there's somebody that a turret gives away. The rest of them are wounded forward as a wall because it looks to cut him off. Seiki was in such a tight spot where he has to stay here until the deadlock and the Viper come, but the Viper's going on the flank too. And they're going to invest the lockdown, I feel like, this round. They have to. A 3v3, as you mentioned, this round pivotal to the economy. And there it is. You should Defender run. lockdown, actually, in conjunction with the attacker's lockdown. But Case, huge nice. here. They get the frag, and since Bliss is alone, that should be the attacker's destroyed. Big. And they still get one before being traded eventually, so... Huge wins, and look at this. Oh! Snake fight through the wall, and Nami just doesn't care. They realize they can stick it all the way with no poison cloud, and that's why you run a deadlock. 
Yeah, it's just an easy dap off. They hold them offside. They can't even get it. They want to shoot for an entire clip, but by the time they even get there, will not matter. The spike's gonna be defused. Advire and the snake bite doesn't do much anymore. No cloud, no, no orb there. And with those three rounds in a row, it'll force Malloy in a position to also for their own time out because they were doing fine way before. We're getting pick after pick, but mm -hmm. SNHU playing way more defensively. They're winning the trade fights. And now here, I was going to have to decide, all right, how do we change the game plan for how we're looking to fight against, against SNHU? Because we can't, get, get, kept getting, we can't keep getting picked off separately. Yeah. Again, they're really relying on these support players like Jesus Saves like bliss to get these lurk frags and then that's when they rotate towards those weak spots i i kind of want to see them go for more of that investment of the firepower this double duelist brings i mean look at the leaderboard holy rebentus they're at the bottom they haven't gotten their chance to shine and there are duelists on attack for crying out loud so let them entry my concern has been though the a site right you sometimes see double sentinel utility to stack there if not you have seikyo who's just winning these duels outright with uh pop and swings being 13 and 5 so I really need to see some cohesion for them instead of them relying solely on one duelist or the other to frag. Yeah. It would be ideal, especially with how they're making space for the rest of their team. Like, it just feels at points disjointed where they're allowing just one person to enter so far, and the rest of the team is like, all right, yo, yo, homie, you go ahead, I'll catch up, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do your thing. And that's just not seems to not be it. Hunter's Fury pings. Oh, nice dodge. Case. Flash. Nice. The second. Aw, oh, damn. This is the all-in I wanted to see. You have one player lurking in the form of Bliss, but everybody's all in towards this B side. Unfortunately, that pain from the Owl Drone is what would allow Seikyo to swing, and they get punished for it. So, Malloy, so far flawless when taking my advice. Holy as well, taking deeper space. You can test not once, but twice here. Unfortunately, Hilo will make work mm. of them, and that's the call for the pit to be invested. A 2v3, but Annihilation Online could be exactly what turns the head, turns the favor here. Back in SNHU's favor! A perfect ping gets a spray down through the smoke, but now that Bliss is rejoined up with Jesus saves, they're running out of util, they're running out of options, and they haven't cleared out the corner. I don't know where he is He's by Ness, right? Look, look, look what the spike is too. Like they need to get on spike right now, but they don't know where he is or the spike is. Bliss? They gotta tap it. There's no time to tap. It's time to stick. Oh. Oh. A very hard fought round, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Close though. Uh, Bliss got an insane shot onto on onto uh, Hilton. I gotta give credit where credit Real. is due there. Um, but otherwise, I, I wish the. Annihilation, maybe they held it a little bit longer until that Soviet utility, you know, confirmed where positions were. I mean, it got one, but Hilton just killed them outright. Other than that, though, again, no information on the Bliss Lurk. Jesus saves you a good job maneuvering around that spike and playing time. But the fact that it takes, you know, Viper's Pit to get the round means you can't depend on that every single time. So, 4 5, Malloy reclaims the lead. It's Nico as well for SNHU and Hilton. Has a hero rifle to defend uh, a site. Gonna take Hilton, stuck at the back. Ooh. Dustin damage, but not able to get that pick against Rubentis with both duelists now. And that's one codes. down spike as well. Oh, Cove to maneuver codes. around, but one trade. Yeah, Cove does enough to keep them on the outside. Spike's not done as of yet. SNHU oh. have been nasty on these saves, but ooh, hey, gay. That's the fight we need. That's the kind of energy I'm trying to see out of Malloy. No more of these explosive saves. But we're giving away three or four. Nice. I mean, if those shots were hit, that would have been easily converted by SNHU. And I, I love how aggressive Frank is playing the hardware because you need that when you don't have a duelist. Using that cove uh, not to defuse, but rather to deny the site by playing around it. It, it does uh, work out in its own sense, but... Ultimately, only good for one means that every tick with worse weapons won't come to fruition. So, Malloy, the first to breach that threshold of six here, but the buy back for SNHU means they have an opportunity yeah. now to equate things before things get out of hand. And now the question is going to be, what are they going to do? Because mm. once you switch sides, right? Mm. Both these, both these comps are suited for the side they're on right now. Yeah. 
It's a question we had to play. Two more rounds left to go here. Yeah. I love Case uh, falling back here, though. Holy has been so confident in taking and winning that duel on them to open up the B site. So it looks like they want to play retake off the Reckoning, off the Hunter Sherry. And those in conjunction could be a strong win condition here. But look at this. Malloy wanting to rotate back, trying to sell a fake, and they're going to run into Nami with this double Sonic Sensor setup. And we get to see them tested since there's not Killjoy Utility to reinforce it this time. Over there. Oh. Mm. Now it's useless. It's tragically is, but. What matters right now is that they'll be able to at least look to make an effort to slow them down. Spike's not slipping in. Maybe. One more ping. Look at yeah, where Seiko they... is. There's look at where Jesus. Look at where Holy is. Yeah, he gets one easy because of that. Another no. He shoots the greats. He's doing interior design. No. You can see lots off that. And now they have complete control of the site, looking like perhaps a seventh round in Malloy's favor. Unless the two can make a miracle happen. No. Oh my goodness, hero plays from Holy. And, and Seikyo was in the hot seat there, pushing down tube. They should have been able to catch wind of those rotations, but ultimately, right? Holy shatters that silence and says, oh crap, there's someone behind me. I gotta go clear that instead. So that's a free B-side, a free plant now, a free round, at least one round lead secured here before the side swap. Actually, and actually, sorry, two. And SNHG, the best they can do is look for this fifth. They can try, right? They can. Yeah, they force. Ideally, 7 5 isn't too bad. They got a couple of Bulldogs. They have no ultimates. Mm -hmm. They can do their thing. And they're too weak from Annihilation. So let's see Nami pop off. I'm surprised I'm saying, I'm saying, how many Annihilations hmm. they've had this half, bro. <laughs> yeah, two is already three, a lot. Right? Yeah, yeah, two or three. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Look at the Even angle. More frog in the yeah, dude. Oh. Three peaky overheated. Damn. Yeah, but that grab nut. That's a good job to buy some time for the rotation. So still a three on three. Case has been on this flank before and it's still getting unchecked. Yeah, he, he, he gets one off that too, which is big. Mm -hmm. So now they know there's a flank here. So force the bridge compared to the site. Hilton shoots through the smoke. Miss. No way, wall drops. And then a second okay, take. Hilton. Let's go, Hilton. That's the top quality service I'm talking about. That's the 7-5 we talked about. Just insane there and very unfortunate that Rubentos gets clipped by the screen's wall and can't updraft over to deny some of that flood in. Uh, but regardless, the sides are swapped and as you mentioned, they're gonna truly have to test their playbook and their understanding of these agents since mm -hmm. they're on a side they're not typically favored on. Yeah, they... <laughs> they're gonna have to really evolve the style that they they brought up previously, because look, for you know like like from Malloy, they're playing the attacker on the best they could, right? Mm -hmm. They were heavy Camille, rush in, both duelists make space, flash, fake, bada bing, bada boom, SNHU, hey, do you throw out a net, throw a wall, right? Maybe a harbor thing here, they're playing inside the cove, but not here. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna take space with the harbor? Maybe right? You go to no, push with the wall, push with the cove, push. Cascade? The wall? Yeah. The cascade? Yeah. I mean, or none of that. I mean, you, you still have your just Viper to rely in. on. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Unfortunately, though, Shock Dart's Snake Bite combos can be pretty lethal. So they have yeah. to respect that. They have to concede a little bit of that control. And that's Toxic Screen Falls. It's going to be a multi challenge on the Holy. And they're still alive. They're still fighting. But finally, Case will be able to shut them down. And suddenly it's a frag fest. But with how much chip damage Holy got alone, this should be easy cleanup for the remaining members of Malloy. Yeah, it's just one shot on every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Except cases at the we back, he time. doesn't want, does not want to take a multi fight. He's pinged, he's stuck, Ooh. and if it comes around to save his life. Distraction. Case will stay alive for a little bit longer though, as they're just popping him back and forth. These jumping stars are gonna help them, because they'll get a poke down. Oh, hey, look who <laughs> snuck by. I mean, that, what better way to play it when you know you're low on P, when you know you can't take these engagements head on, you buy time, you get a little antsy, you get a little creative with your jiggle peaks and jump peaks, or, you know, you draw attention to one member, like Chaos, who's on an island, and Seikyo and Hilton will hunt down their many members while their backs are turned. Uh, a beautiful way to convert that and uh, take the second pistol of the game. It... 
it's a good start. And for SNHU, who have yet to fall in this matchup, they want to continue with their streak. This is exactly what they want to see. I hear rifle again, but this time for Nami as well. So let's see what they're able to do. Step up more, more pew pew. Less uh, annihilation, if anything. Is it toss the net into the corner? I don't mind that play. We better just up top for the C9 bundle, clearly. Zasus has not gotten to him yet. That might be their demise, though. I mean, weapons taking fights here backside. Frank's the only one that walked away with the frag, so there might be some bounties, some weapons to collect from Aloy here alongside the numbers advantage. That's where things get dicey. That's where Nami has to go huge and off the mm -hmm. snake bite contact. They'll be able to get one, but ultimately it's traded, leaving a 1v2. Case picks up the Vandal, will hopefully carry on its legacy, but no, a mini high low action with little HP remaining means Holy with their 3k will walk away. They rob Thrifty off of SNHU to shut down the Tide at 7 scoreline. These can't keep happening, man. They yeah. happen way too often. The Thrifty's on both these sides. And a second round win that was taken from under their feet where they had everything going for the Tease. Malloy is insanely determined to ensure that they do not fall here at Yale High Key. I do not blame them. They're right? They've been. Reason. Exactly. They've been down here in the dumps for a bit too long. They want to make sure it don't happen no more. And I believe, actually, was this their map pick too? It was, yeah. Yeah. They, they knew that their improvements between the, the group stage and the playoffs would pay off. Specifically, Holy picking up this Yoru. You want to see them serve up a Masterclass, and I believe they have. And that's oh. unfortunate fault. I feel like I just caster cursed them since they get first blooded by Case, but that's the exception to the rule, all right? <laughs> this is, yo, know, the kitchen and tube has for them has just been... Oh. A, I would say holy or lucky because uh, they just have not been able to find a decent timing easy trade he's reloading no on four 3v3 now they know what the spike is so SNH you can has to evolve accordingly I said why aren't you grabbing the spike but I died up means Frank can safely recover that so they can regroup and re-hit only concern here is that they're headed back towards the killjoys down back to where Ventus is holding backside in tandem with that utility. They're gonna once again fully rely on a solo Viper. This time Jesus saves here towards the B site. And my concern here is that there's also a toxic screen in place. So all the cards stacked against them on this A take, but Lloyd's still gonna respect it nonetheless. So once these swarm grenades expire, that should be a plan to offer this cascade. And the question is, how does SNHU go about converting it? Currently, you know, they look to, to put down the cove and chill inside of it. Put out a fake oh, shot no! immediately. He gets away. Huge. That was Sonic Sensor. And he re peeks from that, too. Just that was an insane off. Sonic Sensor, bro. That's what the Death Ops for, the post plan. Dude, that was cool. Yeah. It's like, yo, how just are fires you there? the coffins, dude said they're just shooting at them, hoping to break the wall open. How are you there, Seikyo? He pops up top. He's just chilling. He's rolling. Get him. No. <laughs> He's ain't home. I mean, what's up with you this we are? What's is like, where do I look? I'm like, where do I look? And you said that these teams can't keep getting away with it, but SHU throws the Thrifty right back in their face. And how does Nami survive that? I swear they lost their Vandal. <laughs> Guys, please, let's win a normal round for once. For I beg you. <laughs> just once. Not with these comps. I'm sorry. Yeah, but like, it's just... It's just... <laughs> Okay. Now, and, and the issue now becomes is that Beloy is not once again on the save because they're best for the last round. And the issue will be is if, if SNH loses again, we're just going to keep going on this ping pong of save by save by for both teams, which is wholly unorthodox. So Never curious. seen before. So Let's see it happen. <laughs> yeah. I like this cascade to deny any early aggression, but. Ventus eager to peek over here on pipes if they're not careful and it's not cleared out. That could be oh. disastrous, but this reckoning force in their hand. Annihilation and Tandem will grab one while Frank finishes the job. So, I mean, this is a pretty dusted round, right? They can't help, help him. him. They're on the other side of the map. What do you mean? I mean, look, Jesus saves his flanking. Bliss is on island here, screens, <laughs> barrier meshed off. It really is going to have to be a hero play from Jesus saves again to bring back a chance. And there it is. Maybe that their prayers will be answered. <laughs> nah, I don't think so, bro. It's just... Uh, there's no way. Uh, Look at the Sonic I'm... sensor. Look at that. 
I, I, these are just like, uh, post plant is so strong with deadlock and they're having no issues taking sites, which should have been the issue here without a duelist. Exactly, because you have the sensor to stop them and completely concuss them. You have the net to clear out corners and also slow out movement. And then you just have her wall, which decides, hey, I see this is a multiple choice test. What if you cut, what if you made it a 50 50? And just ruin the options, right? And it stays up for so long. Yeah, I you're gonna save, you can't really break it, this. like, period. Exactly. So you're literally just stuck. Have you tried to knife a deadlock net and see how long it takes? It takes so long, bro. Yeah. I don't understand why uh, more teams are, aren't picking this agent up, but I like that SNHU has, and they even forced the timeout now out of Malloy. 8-8, eight, eight, though. I mean, y y you thought the SNHU timeout was, was, I think, late last half, but this is very well-timed. I mean, you're going back into a buy. You're still at the chance of turning a lead back in your favor, and you have some key ultimates to work with here. I, I hope they said holy out early, because... I feel like they're a strong standalone player from the right position, and that's what they can leverage the dimensional uh, drift for. And you can even, like you said, double it up with that Sova combination with the Hunter Fury, and you're swimming. Mm hmm. I mean, swimming is a term for that. I mean, you're swimming in it. Like the success, the frags, you name it, they're going to trace them down. <laughs> no, I think I get it, honestly. Please explain it more. Like, really dive into what do you mean by that? Dive in, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. <laughs> okay. Either way, the couple of options not available for the Malloy side, right? Especially being one of the Yoru Wolves and also the Heart of Fury. Ideally, being able to use that for either early scouting or just stopping for fast pushes. It's been all stacks from, from SNHU. And shows no signs of stopping either. B first up. Oh, nice shot. It's first blood drawn, and I said I wanted Holy to go huge, but I didn't expect it to be in that factor. They get a frag, they get out, a dodge, and here comes the Hunter Shiri, albeit a little bit late to deny the plant. It'll still get those pings, get that early damage off that Holy can then Another... be unleashed upon the enemy team. I mean, at this point, Holy just go for the ace. Cascade allows you to push up, right, technically? Take that space and kind before the toxic screen rises, but opportunity. Out of the door, Fake no rotation from SNHU. They want to recommit. Yeah, Ooh. he. That's the team. Oh, he Ooh. just gets, barely gets spotted. What is this double that swing? That's how you Man, get numbers just... advantage back in your favor. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, they just saw one immediately swing at the second one as well, too. They're like, all right, let's get it. The third as well found Rubentis. A big first straight to be able to take one. May just mm. be enough to the screen now on the SNHU side. Separated. As post back, go, go crazy. I'm concerned by how divided the players are, though. Albeit Hilton has the Hunter's Fury online, so I like that they're playing their life here. And yeah, once the tap comes through, that's when it's invested. That's when Case is going to swing off of the the delay it's bringing. I see a retap here. Oh, oh. What? they snipe Case to no snake bites to work with. Shock Dart not finishing Another? the job. They're going to stick it all the way. They have to get nice. off Hilton, the 4K. A beautiful clutch from opening up the site to finishing out the post plant to deny Malloy the momentum out of their timeout and keep SNHU on the forefront. And I think for Case there too, it's like, yo, my homie, you gotta be able to know the normal no lineup for that pass <laughs> yellow to where you wanna put that. Now, it's a tough one too, where you have to try to bounce it off, yeah. off the side and then have it land there. So I understand the hesitation on going up in the open, but unfortunately, it leaves him on the outside, you till out. Unfortunately, Dodzo, but luckily Hilton and Vastly Card to Security find his timing and then both counterparts taken. Like here on the save, they go to Bentes. Needed, needed a dome piece, didn't find it. Backs up immediately. I like this lockdown, but unfortunately, we're about to see Hilton go huge here again. Yes, there's the a chart for first flank. contact, but I don't think they expect four people. So this could just be the Hilton farming show. They recover on to. Oh, they don't think there's more than one. Oh, oh, that's brutal. Yeah, like you said, does not expect the double fake, albeit much less the quad, the quad. <laughs> Yeah, where Sekio is moving to the corner. Does he see it? Oh, I like that. Finds the second they... up top. He's so clean. Holy? Huh? They were turning kind for two, and we're on a 2v2, albeit Rubentis only has a marker, <laughs> and the hit is up, but I mean. Oh. I, I would. They're faking the clone. They're like, we are the clone. But as soon as the grab net gets removed, that's when Case strikes. 
And SNHU, the first to reach double digits here on Icebox. Malloy's not thick, too. Holy almost clutched that as well for all the homies down back. Where he, he, I believe that was a collab that you landed as well, from what I saw. Mm -hmm. So, a sick shot uh, yeah. with the Guardian, which, hey, again, more Guardian stonks is better for me. I'm a Guardian gamer myself, so I'm a big fan of yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, but aside from that, it now leaves us wanting, hoping, and wondering for more as to what MU will do. You have Nico right now, a crucial round in front of you. You need this if you are Malloy. And that's why they're going to invest that pit. Nice anchor there on mid. So I can keep more attention here towards the sights. But even then, it's a 3-1 split. So with Max falling, with somehow the pit falling from Jesus Saves uh, pushing out, again, the, the responsibility lies on Holy here, who was able to get crashed back over to reinforce the behold, albeit too late. And with, with the cove up, with the plant down, they really just want to regroup and play with their team. And Oh, that's insult to injury case. You didn't have to do that to him. They're just trying to save, and you're gonna hunt them down like that. Mm -hmm. Yo, of course you want to get your ult orbs up, right? There's only sure. one way to do so. If you can't get the orbs, get the homies. So easy from there. And like you mentioned, full save on their now lockdown still live still available, I should say. And sitting so they're all five, they should definitely be hunting them I wanna, to ensure. They I want to see who's the closest to their ults, and I want them to prioritize those individuals getting the frags. And unfortunately, though, they recognize a site, the hideout here for the remaining members of Malloy. They've spotted out Bliss, and now the recon bolt to confirm further pressure. Oh, that was a great bait play, and Chaos only oh. is able to find one. So if anybody's uh, economy's been damaged, it's SNHU's, but when they're able to tie five rounds together, I, I think you're giving you plenty of funds to spare. Every single one of those kills that were taken by the end is because nobody could actually find Rubantis. Yeah. He's just, <laughs> he's just, he's just hiding and taking them one by one and also tosses away the gun for the rest of the homies because they know he has knives and he'll have, we'll have to make two with that. But for the rest of them, options slim though, but nonetheless, you mentioned lockdown, knives, and also mm -hmm. your wealth available to be able to invest in SNHU were a couple orbs away from getting theirs online as well here. And yeah. Malloy, once again, they need this. I'm about to say, yeah, uh, you better get off that orb, Nami. Hilton needs it, because if they get the plant, they get the Hunter's Fury, and that's the perfect mm -hmm. counter to the lockdown. Again, I mean, MU going for a, a gamble stack towards A, and I mean, looks at this raid, they're not even planning for a post-plant uh, Hunter's Fury. They might have been seizing to rotate towards A to get that orb, but instead they recognize that there's been no one spotted it from yellow, so... Maybe this is a, a B commit, and I'll have to see if Jesus saves can hold on, or they can get that early information to inform some of these rotations, because with worse weapons, it's going to be really hard to retake, especially without that lockdown to work with. Plant town. We're going in full retake. And there's Hunter Fury. Yeah. Also needs to get off site and play it. They're life, my dude. There it is. Yeah. Big ping, though. Chaos? Okay, they don't know. They're they in know. a they great position, bro. Should we able to get the info on all of them, too? Looking past by a kitchen. They're all around it as well. That should be one. The second also taken. Nice. Tossed Clean. out. Big two from Case. But that lockdown, though, will hinder them quite a fair bit. I love again. Yes, Hilton tries to help nice. out Frank, but now they're in the 1v2. They want one more. Where they use his Hunter's Fury instead to buy time, and I, I think they have it. Bliss has to stick, but you have to align. And look, Jesus Saves is there, but they've got him oh. off the spike. It doesn't matter. You just threw the round, Jesus Saves. You had to save Bliss, and instead you selfishly save your life going for a knife kill. He, he. That that has to be a sin. All right, that has to be. <laughs> what? Why? Why? He, oh. He could have probably got it to half. He would have not be able to catch up in time at all if we just stuck it. I understand the play you wanted to run, but you had your knife. You should have just shot him. <laughs> well, I mean, that gives us no. an issue map point. And your buy is kind of all over the place. So we'll see what Malloy can do. Um, they look like they're just like, all right, we're spreading ourselves uh, a little bit too heavily towards one side or the other. So... Let's go pretty dead even across the map. I do like Holy playing forward here, right? That's a new look. We haven't really seen it. It's usually Jesus Saves just fighting for themselves, but 
I mean, with all this utility coming at you, what can you peek? How can you contest? And looks like Moy though has had enough. They recognize Holy's there. They've seen their frag power, and they're like, all right, we're out. We're headed A. Bliss is really deep already in the maze. Not like they can hold on forever with our high tide, and it's gonna be Rebentis to try and contest if this annihilation doesn't find him first. Patience, I love it. Send it, send it. The quad just somewhere. It's about to expire. Ready? What? Oh! <laughs> It. See, exactly. Sometimes you gotta just send it. Like, oh. thank you. Just sends it, and so does the rest of the team. 3v2, heavy trade, and Alliation put out. And I'll push on the side here once again. Our security out of the corners. Case? He's gonna miss all of them. No. <laughs> and Case does it. Again. A 13 8 on the opponent's map pick. That was so many of those rounds were just fascinating, Zoe. <laughs> All right, all right. Recognition where recognition is due. They got one more round to get SNE achieved than Icebox last time. It was a 13 7. All right, so improvement. But I, I completely agree. They had such a solid build of momentum in the first half. And then, second half, it's just Case. Case really was the difference maker there. They saw Jesus saves lurk plays that they were able to pull off. They saw Holies and they're like, hey, I can do that too. And they were 10 times more devastating. Like, yes, you got one or two if you were uh, Malloy, but they were getting three or four every time consistently. And I didn't really see enough changes on the defense coming out from Malloy in time, specifically in terms of where the Killjoy was repositioning. And that kind of stagnancy you cannot have when you're up against a team who consistently is adjusting like we saw from uh, SNHU. Mm -hmm. Easy. Well done. Still potentially one more map to go, but on the yeah. bonus map pick as well. Let's see if Malloy look to bring it back or Resident Evil take us home. Find out after this quick break.
Welcome, welcome back to the East Coast Conference brought to you by Esports U. An insane first map, but SNHU Esports repeats history, steals away Malloy's map pick on Icebox, and now uh, our are headed back to Bind as our map two from SNHU's pick their pool, their neck of the woods, and the sides are going to be swapping. Malloy starting out on the defense, SNHU on the attack, and what do we make of it? I think it should be fun. Bind attack is super swag, and a team that picked it naturally knows how to play both sides. And considering mm -hmm. you're starting off on attack first, I imagine I, I imagine they should be confident no matter what. I'm more excited about the comps. I'm hoping to see a Yoru once more. I think Deadlock mm -hmm. also isn't too bad on Bind either, honestly. So I'm expecting to see more of the same, realistically. I, I, I completely agree. And I, I have like the previous comps that they had run in in the group stage because neither of these teams i believe and will fact check myself neither of these teams in fact played bind in the quarterfinals to get themselves here and i i agree i don't think we're gonna see the same comps i mean every member except for like our duelists maybe were changing roles i mean holy for crying out loud i was going from a yoru to a brimstone if they maintain these compositions so i i would love to see things shaken up a little bit like i would love to see say holy like you said back on the yoru um other than that, though, let's take a look at SNHU. I mean, they're the team that you said would probably pull out the deadlock if they were to pull it out on Bind, but they've just been running the, the meta comp on this map. The old meta, too, mind you. The Viper, Brim, Sky, Pre-Nerf, the KJ, and the Jet. And uh, I hope they make a change to accommodate the, the Sky nerfs, because with the Sky fade that typically is run by Malloy, they definitely have. And it looks like, oh, are we seeing changes? We are. Already a Phoenix and a Yaru That's locked a... in. This is what we wanted to see. Yeah, I was about to say. So deadlock again with the Sova, mm. which is chill, right? And the Viper wants more on the other end from Malloy, though. We have Fade Gecko for the initiators. Uh, a combination I don't see ever, uh, I'll say. Okay. So, <laughs> where, you know, usually more often than not, we'd at least get like a Breach even, like a KO even. I've mm -hmm. seen a bunch, but... You know what? Fine. All right. I'd be I'd be excited to see how they pilot it. Otherwise, though, Viper Brims, you know, makes sense to me. And Omen as well on the other, other side. This Phoenix is gonna be fascinating. I imagine we're gonna be all farming a lot for Nami, who's played a couple of different roles already in just this game. And now with SNHU, their pick, their comp, their mm -hmm. style. I wanna see what they got going on. I I just want to point out that the Frank on Deadlock is new. They've literally played past the Deadlock depending on what map it is, right? We saw, you know, Nami with it on the Ascent. We usually see Hilton or Nami with it on, uh, on an Ascent. And now we're jumping over to Bind and Frank's like, I got it too. Like, don't you worry about it. And I mean, the only consistency in the roles we see here come out of, yes, holding on the Yaru, Viper for Jesus saves, but... Focusing more on Case on that Viper and Hilton on that Sova. So I'm expecting some same clutch plays from them, and I'm expecting the same lurk potential out of Case. So those are two things to keep your eyes on as we get ready to jump into Bind. Hmm. I'm going to go in with bated breath and an open heart mm. for us to what? Win a witness? Okay. Uh, Because... This is unorthodox, I find. Especially if I'm looking at the both Gecko and Fade combination. Okay. I am going to be watching closely in terms of how I'd love to take the space on sites. And most importantly, especially especially as the struggle of a defense, right? You know, how yeah, they look for the retakes. Because fade on bind is not bad, but I find you need something to be able to flash you in or be able to clear or clear farther corners. Mm -hmm. And here with Gecko, besides Dizzy, not a ton really does that now, which is what the Yoru is for, but yeah. Holy is going to be the backbone for the team and allowing them to walk into sight then. I, I completely agree. I mean, their issues were with their defense on Icebox more than anything, and now they're running no Sentinel. The thing is why we're seeing this early aggression be long and into showers here to get that contact-based information gathering to inform decisions and early rotations for potential all-out denial or a potential retake, but... On the other side of things, SNHU, this attack, or this composition is designed for an attack here. I mean, look, curveball out. They're disrespecting this toxic screen. Tenfold. Holy yes, gets the frag, but Nami shuts them down and converts the numbers of advantage to SNHU's favor, and that's an easy plant. 
I honestly, yo, the B long push not bad at all. A classic pistol strat hoping to catch the opponents off guard because that's usually what you push, but you just don't expect the full five hookah push either. It just does not happen. And now he comes around, goes towards the back. Not gonna peek this either. Dizzy comes around, nothing spotted. There's the two right there. But Frank gets the one. Hopefully, another be taken. No team kills this time. Mm -hmm. But SNHU finally got their pistol. Yeah, Max doing a good job there trying to find each solo player one frag after another, but it just doesn't work out. And again, those are the gamble plays I, I feel like Malloy has to take. Not just on their pistol round, but on these rounds pretty consistently because uh, they don't really have that utility to, to delay a hit. Like, the only delay they have would be, like, a mosh, a snake bite, maybe an incendiary, but even those are unlimited, and you'd rather save them for, like, a spike denial than just to hold down a choke blink. So again, right, they put their bodies on the line, they they fight into shower, past the flash, past all this contact, and Ventus, please don't swing that. You have a phantom on the other side, and there it is, hot hands as well, they completely deny. <gasps> Ventus, nice frag, the wingman's in, but the concuss is not, and... The wrap around through shorts, they know where the players are coming from. They can hold that off accordingly while Spike is planted safely back site. A nice start and another clean take as well. As he aggressively to push in one by one and from Lloyd currently, you you've been chipped across the entire body. And Frank might do more of that. They're so low. There's no the way cost. they clear this. Look at this. this one, is one yeah. two, no. Two. Aww. <laughs> Nice flick Rip. from Bliss, granted, <laughs> but 3v2, low HP, Phantom at long range, yeah. Mm -hmm. Double Phantom at long range, mind you, Case had mm -hmm. one too. Clean two, oh. Yeah, it's just not happening. Right, it's, and you assume that too, of course, is a save, but here's where we begin. The true test of time, skill, and and just of, of, of what it takes to play Valorant. Your gun's in your hand. You have an alt already for Nami, mind you. Uh, which, honestly, I find it pretty expected as he's 5-0 in the past two rounds. Jesus Christ, how do you Uh, and I'm expecting more of the same from SNHU. There's full Russian head starts, right? No, no breaks at all. W key in. And we're going ag uh, again, four hookah. Leaving nothing to the imagination. I mean, the crossover of the toxic screens here has been an absolute mayhem to deal with for both sides. I love the positioning unironically from Bliss here. A perfect distraction. Look at that, Jesus saves, concealing their positioning. There's no way they re-clear this when there's already a sky smoke and there's already been a clear from your previous teammate. Bliss, 3k, Seiko follows out after the incendiary alongside Hilton and suddenly this round looks a lot more winnable than it was on the site execute. It's... We just gotta check our corners here, guys. It's just like a classic here, but... Ooh. This is nice. He smokes himself in. He's gotta Ooh. survive. Pops up top. Might we get one more, but Sticky falls immediately. He'll look for one more. Pop up top. Oh. Holy! Oh. Gets the dual saves the round. You can only ask Hilton to get so many clips, and that would have been a hard target swap to achieve, so... Maloy, yes, they get their first round on the board, but that was a bonus for SNHU. And you're walking away with one rifle. So now the question is, how do you stop SNHU from leading you now by two rounds? How do you shut down the buy they're about to go for? And the answer looks like it's going to be a compilation of varying weapons with various ranges. And my eyes would be on the outlaw from Max, but... Fortunately, SNHU, they're all going for the full shields. They recognize the shift in the meta, and they are respecting it. And they don't even know it, but it might just save their life this round. Mm -hmm. Very possible. No early showers aggression left completely open just to watch them from heaven. And Gecko on the side tucked into the corner. As they finally change the sites they want to take to give away the info, but that, are they trying to set up for a fake here? Fade's already rotated. I don't think initially, just because the spike is still down, the you know, only a dizzy. short. <laughs> I, I am too, case. OBS, please swap. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great shift in the POV. Um, 
But I, I like that they're anchoring here, right? You mentioned it. The Faded rotated over to A. Bliss had accompanied Holy there in CT. Gate crashed out as well. So one less person on the A site for this egg deck. But regardless, this is where they want to hit. 45 seconds left, ensuring they have adequate time to follow through or rotate maybe through a teleporter. But I love this Yoho utility. Let's see if it lands. Well, you can get these shots and they flash themselves, of course. I mean, you got to take chances if you ever do some. Uh -huh. And actually, so there's a chance they took, does barely work out, oh, they rotate friend. in, and they time that perfect, easy, B open, <laughs> and the spike should be down. I mean, in case gets the frag there, of course he rotate. Like I said, they were going to be that lurk player, that linchpin, and uh, it should favor them now. I mean, you got sonic sensors on both choke points, you have annihilation, so Frank, please fall back and play your life. I mean, Rebentus, er, Rebentus sorry, does have that... Thrash here, that's the only silver lining, but I mean, look at this. 2v4, and there's already a commitment to save. I, I mean, I agree yeah. with that when you have an Annihilation and a Hunter Sphere. Like, what are you hoping to achieve on a retake with those up against you? And look at this. I mean, Hunting no. party's out. Yeah, they, they want to make sure the guns are the factor, right? Which, it does every single time, and I don't blame them for it. I mean, case is I so mean, you would even... You're gone out! What are you doing, Hilton? <laughs> Oh, and he's had a stinger. All right, I, I feel like that's uh, it's okay, but regardless, another round in SNHU's favor. Malloy, though, they have the tools to, to get the momentum back in their favor. They have a, a decent buy, depending on what uh, Jesus saves buys. And uh, a Bucky, you know, I've seen a Bucky do some, Out of some bad plays in the best way. Um, we'll see if that can propel them forward. I mean, you have a thrash, you have a dimensional drift and a nightfall, so we'll see what the retake looks like if they get that far. Hmm, oh. I see. Use annihilation. It's a scare so tactic. Can... You don't have to see anybody on the entry. Watch Why not? Come back. Might really get oh. one shot. Oh, he overcooked a little bit, but wait, Thrash just still goes? No one's saving him. He's gonna die. From the grave, Frank gets one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Jesus saves can't save you in that situation when they have a Bucky. Jesus I cannot mean, save you, right? They cannot. But, you know, Reventus uh, might be able to save the round. They get the thrash off, isolating case. But, unfortunately, look at that use of the blaze wall. That was just perfectly coordinated to section them off to save them. The wingman's on the case. Snake fight not going to destroy them, but the hunter fury sure will. Spike is halved. Hot hands is out. Again, SNHU leveraging how much post play utility they have, and Max, what can you do? You can try to stick it all the way. You can nice. try and stick it all the way, but you have no clue where Hilton is. Again, no, you're running out of time. You got to it now. It's a fake once oh. more. Oh, what a flick from Hilton! The clutch of the round, but with a couple of seconds remaining, SNHU playing on a knife's edge. Remember why this is their map pick, showing how this composition is leveraged very effectively on the attack i mean you have sonic sensors on the choke points you have molly shock darts paranoias it's the perfect combination to make Moloya's life not the easiest on those retakes and again we fall to i don't think an investment of one ultimate is enough to get these rounds they need to layer them together i'll be a nightfall and a thrash maybe so they don't hear the thrash coming or, or something but this round right it's a save i like this pressure a short it does not look like case was expecting it and that's gonna give them a trade and a weapon upgrade. Sure, I mean that's a trade they'll take any of the week. Mm -hmm. A gun they want, and now they can push. Also, Viper's put also down because of that too. Sure, you lose your Yuru off of it, but you're not exactly crying. On the other end, though, B looks wide open. Yeah, they got a free plant off. We're going to take you once again. S N H U lagging a bit yeah. far behind. I mean, that, that's the gamble you take when you push out as fast as you did a short. And I love the barrier mesh there as well, so if they tried to teleport, it would have been insane to get out. But regardless, communication came from Case, they've repositioned accordingly, and here hopefully comes the, the joint ultimate usage I was hoping to see, but I mean, net placement, everything denied here from SHU just to deny, to delay, and Seikyo from the high ground, leaping in the pit unafraid, but a collective oh. question from Jesus saves. Hot hands used early on, a nice molly, but a nice trade, and... Damn. Again, 
every play being brought out from Aloy is creative and unique, but SNHU has the response in kind. Sprays through from Garden, from Hookah, right? It just decimates any possibility they might have had for being able to at least maybe get a plan. So I'll be, be, be able to get, you know, some sort of time bot, maybe get it to half. Like, possibilities were not endless, but they were there. But unfortunately, SNHU plan accordingly. They got the money up, they got the util up. Mm -hmm. And ideally, from there, all they had to do and what they did was just go down and brrrr. <laughs> Worked out easy peasy. Now look at that. No Vipers pick could save them. No Jello could keep them safe. <laughs> uh, but here it is from here. I did a timeout. It was warranted here, Zelby. I find oh, very. poor Malloy, right? It's You're thinking, all right, yo, boys, you're back listen to, up. You're back to a buy. You have ultimates yeah. to work with. And I mean, you only won the the rifle bonus denial against SNHU. So again, I mean, I'm I'm looking to holy, I'm looking to bliss. They've been sitting on those ultimates for half of this mat, half half of this half already, half of this match so far. And mm -hmm. I mean, holy, I know you know how to use this Yoru kit. It might be kind of scary to run at them in the dimensional drift, but it might end up better than you were hoping to, um, especially if you're you know flashing um cloning as soon as you're kind of pulling out of the other dimension it can definitely get some frags in your favor but for now looks like it's a fake teleport play in conjunction with those in who in shower to try and pull some mm -hmm. members over to a but uh this is a misread that's what the fault is when you don't have a sky over there on long you can't d guide and light out you can't confirm a presence uh speaking of showers by the way they were actually three pushed into it and Viper actually saw a lot of them move in. So he's realized the presence early on from A. And they Wait, know look, that nightfall. okay, exactly how much you're dealing with the nightfall is big Ooh. here. Just spray works, Nobby gets one. A big okay. start, but the rest will matter as they all fall. Exactly the plan will go down, but they're investing everything here. The five seconds is OB. They can still rotate. They don't need to. They know they have control. They have a barrier mesh towards CT. Seikyo deposited his elbow, and albeit the paranoia misses. And two. Okay, SNHU. I know it's a one v four, but you don't need to throw the one v four. One player after another throwing themselves into max to have their lives lost, and now the remaining two getting serious, setting up a crossfire here. Max navigating the minefield that is the Sonic sensors, but again. No information to work off of. They have so many angles to clear. I thought they when they jumped out, they were gonna jump back and on the sensor for a second. They do. <laughs> oh, and that's unfortunate. But how did they get one there? That's okay. Insta, insta heads up. By the way, so that's just clean from them. Mm -hmm. uh, but when she gives away, I find that the sound sensor doesn't go off. I entirely possible mm -hmm. that Max is able to clutch a one v four from there. But mm -hmm. fortunately, timeout doesn't necessarily work in their favor. Six rounds on road. They were taking four consecutively. And a save right now from Malloy. Where they don't have a ton of options left. You mentioned the dimensional difference before. And I'm hoping they can use that again in the gun rounds. Right, to be able to at least find just early info on where SNHG is he was placing. Because you've seen it's been kind of topsy-turvy. With where Malloy and SNHG usually are. Especially on opposite ends. <laughs> and that spotted what a cord. A cohesion of a utility. Oh my goodness, three pieces, one frag. I wish I got both of them. That would have just been the picture perfect play. But now Malloy thinking they have the picture perfect counter, an early flank. But I mean, I don't think they realized the two players went into hookah here. So look at this TP play. They can repivot here into Link and unfortunately they're a second late to punish. Oh, that spiked out. To get... oh. mm. This is dicey. It's fine. It's a... Is it? He's, 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 he's holy? He's, he's, he's... Oh. There's no way they can jump. Right they just have to TP. They I mean, have to go for the objective, for the spike. They're both just walking one by one beside holding pinkies at this point. Max again. Flash up. Max? He just times it. Max is ridiculous. Max? And another taking three for Max. Bro, he's pulling his team from the grave with his own cold hands. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm speechless play, at that thrifty. I mean... So many counters that Malloy didn't think were going to be counters that were. I mean, Holy getting the information on the flank from Hilton to reposition there from Hookah on the teleport. The players that were trying to flank the hit on A, 
than being able to turn around and contest those teleporting over towards Hookah. It all just lined up in their favor. Like the stars aligned for the first time in this half to stop <laughs> that four round momentum SNHU had tied together. My concern is, like I said, that's not going to come a dime a dozen. That's a very peculiar situation that you now have to pull out what worked about it and replicate it. Uh, uh, push out, not caught. No, just barely off with the oats. The wall they will slow them down, stop with the nets. And bliss underneath with two, but then we quarter Hilton. from two different sides. Hilton shooting the shock to try to get some chip damage off, but the swing's gonna be tougher. They're locked in a 1v1. The rest of the team is here. They're on the sights. You gotta turn around, my brother. Everyone else is around you. It's it's the wreck, and you're up first as a Seikyo. It's 2v3. Pets not done as of yet. A full clip into the cage. The spike goes down. Case. Dancing with the devil. Trying to peek these members. CT. Finally decided to commit to the Viper's Pit, which I was hoping I would see. Max is alive. We've seen their clutch potential. But Hilton again. Nice. The perfect distractor. The perfect forward pressure. I mean, dance around Octagon. Get a frag for their team. Now they dance around the pit and steal another. But if anybody can get this job done, it would be Max with the oh. pit falling. Last two members remaining are gonna be sent scrambling. 30 HP, a high low secured. They're able to grab oh, none. <laughs> Max is again finding these illegal timings from SNHU, or I find the, the team themselves is getting impatient to walk out. Where? Mm -hmm. Cause you could uh, cause realistically. We could we could say that hey, if Case is inside the pit, he probably lose, right? But luckily there has what you were mentioning, they're able to find a double up and with him not being aware, he easily has one of them. But Max at this point is able to maneuver around this map and around SNH's defenses. But his post plants are heavily going in his favor. And if given the opportunity one v ones, he will save the team. But now he's dead. <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> oh. A real TP this time from Holy, not just a clone. So we'll see if we can find the late round impact. Especially off the distraction that's the thrash. Yeah, you detain Nami, you push out. That's free for the pickings. Got to clear behind you to make sure you're not going to get backstabbed. But yeah. regardless, now sight set on the site, set on the objective of denying the spike plant. And Big. yes, the positions there on heaven, but the frag does not follow case. On the off as well. Gonna be pinched here potentially by the Yara utility and those funneling in from CT. Uh, no, look at the cage again. Yeah, but case the force he found towards the back of triple, which no he's gonna give a heavy control now to two, three, three. They know what the first one is, stops immediately. Oh. The Suka timing with the two flank around. I'm Hilton there for the second. No, oh, where the third is. He's so damn good. Check out time. Let's go, Hilton. Just so dependable. <laughs> Did you just say checkout time like it's the hotel? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I I was thinking about that earlier. I was gonna make like a rewards member joke, but being mm -hmm. to it. Uh, eight two though for SNHU rounds that they shouldn't have the business of winning, still being converted again. Hilton just they literally just vibe in the early round. You know, mess around with some shock darts, and then they are to clutch these. And they set SNHU up here to sit pretty even before the sides swap. And these last two rounds are going to be gunning already for double digits. I mean, it's a save from Malloy. 9 3 Charlie Boss. Oh. Big flash. Oh, yeah, they get oh. those two. Nerf Stinger, guys. Nerf Stinger, anybody? He's one. Not for long. Dude, he has to heal up like a little bit, man. Case? It's just so tough. Like, you have no Case? sky. Oh no. He's so far shorty, 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 shorty. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Love to see it. Finally around, looking like Malloy could pull it out. And there's the dimensional drift. He's at a good time. Confirming positions, he getting some weapon upgrades. And of course, oh. if, Hilton's, if Hilton is alive, the round is not over. And I want to point out yes, Nami was at 1 HP. But not only do they have the utility to heal up, but they have to run it back. And when you respawn, you know, rebirth, it's with full HP. So I kind of mm. want to see them use it just for that mechanic here on the entry. And it looks like that could be what they're doing. Yeah, here it comes. Is Bliss oh. prepared so far? Yeah. Now they don't want the corner flash, it's right? Not turn away. One more as well. Bear in mind, this is a save, no, no, right? No, don't Zerby? do it. Not another shorty kill. Oh. Not another shorty kill. 
Dude, Max has gotten these timings on Nami twice now. One with the Sheriff, but now one with the Shorty. Now Frank is like in a 1v3, where he just like up against the Shorty and two actual kind of guns. Switch out. I mean, he has one stock, right? But oh, the cage god, this is so tough, man. Anybody can peek him, wingman there. Chasing after him, seven bullets. Frank, will you live? Will you die? He dies. My anxiety, like my blood pressure was rising watching that clutch. I mean, their utility does a good job of partitioning the site, but neither member is, is swinging you. And yes, you get the frag out of max, but now you're out of bullets and you have to trade out in the open without knowing exactly where Jesus Saves is playing from. So regardless, Malloy, fight back here for one. At least a 9-3 secure. You're going to be fighting for that 8-4 potential conversion. And I, I guess this is a good time to ask you, since we're on the verge of swapping sides, what, mm -hmm. what does Molloy's comp bring to their defense where you think they have a chance to come back? It's hard. If anything. <laughs> it's hard. It's it, it's tough. Because Look at the bright side. Come on. Be optimistic. What do you see? Uh, okay. So here, here, here's, here's it. If we're being completely copium, so... Uh, oh. Molloy has good... Oh... Malloy has Jesus saves a max. That is my thing. <laughs> They've done a lot. What is that incendiary? And plays where SNHU honestly just oh, yeah. is. Like they <laughs> ran it down there and oh decided they wanted to be 8-4. Alright, I'm not gonna let you escape this question. Alright, like yes, they have they have star players that are starting to get online. But they can't just rely on Max here for their their attack. I, I, I don't think they're the entry that this team needs onto a site, but I, I can see Max proving me wrong. <laughs> yeah, definitely possible. Definitely possible. Uh, definitely possible. I think, you know, if they get the first pistol, huge, right? We're looking at momentum. We're looking at a bonus. I'm willing to believe more there. And especially with how they're positioned, I think the cop in general is positioned a lot better for the attack as well. Because they've got, you know, like Gecko, Fade, right? Clear out close, the Yoru to entry in. And of course, with the, but of course, with, uh, of course, where you have, you know, your, oh my god, how do I remember the, 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 the dude's name? How am I blanking? Uh, uh, Smoke. Brand. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, by the time you remember the name, the round's gonna be over. <laughs> that's, yeah, right? that's right. <laughs> they, got, they got two already. They got Spike down as well. Like, they've basically done the job here for the SNHU and Reventus is just living in their own world, trying to save things, but Nami... I mean, mm -hmm. you said they were inting, they were running it down. That literally is running gun from Nami, with a ghost of all weapons, mind you. Yeah, it's a pistol too, fine. So, so there's definitely more of their alley, more of their strat, so I don't mind that at all, right? Here it goes and again! <laughs> he, yeah, they just take it, man. He's just running at them, because why wouldn't he? He's 2v1. High-low? Bliss? High low? He's walking high low? The, Not even a high-low, it's just low-low. Low-low. They're all there. Same thing. <laughs> There's like a gentle slope. <laughs> sure, yeah, why nine, not? Nine four regardless. And you said it, Malloy really wanted that pistol and unfortunately things not looking any better for them. A phantom forced up from Nami, Frank in the position to save for a hero rifle regardless next round and the rest of the team getting those rifles underway, or sorry, those specters underway to keep SNHU sailing on the up and up again. Not gonna say, it's still possible. Oh, when we see them get saved before, right? It's just, but I'm gonna just need to see them get this save again in a very dominant fashion. You just did a thrifties we saw on Icebox. Exactly. A thrifties without unquestionably, and Nobby might just give that to them. Nah, oh, nah. No. Nah. He's pushing, he's pushing. What a madman. <laughs> <laughs> Max again? Of course it's max to get the refrag there, but at this point now you gotta play recovery. You have to throw your life away just to get this phantom, and it's Dude. not really. Wait a minute, Dude, you just throw it out by accident. <laughs> I don't know if it was worth it. Look how low both those numbers are now. No, no, it was not worth it. It's just I understand where to stop them for rotating, but they wanted we're the just... phantom. They didn't want them to keep the phantom. And oh. Now you're if you're case, you're handing them a, a, a bulldog, so. <laughs> Guys, that's just, it's okay. I said it's you guys, you're doing great. Just breathe. Yeah. I understand you want to pull things back a little bit. Right, just stay on site. You play your corners, you have a gun. It's a save round. It's fine. If you lose this, you're saving. It's okay. <laughs> SNHU, you can tell the vibes are up. They're just, they're just chilling. 
Yeah. I mean, there's 25 I'm seconds left, and they're on the right side that the hit is coming through. Oh, that's not a good timing, good though, Seiko! Timing. You're again gonna rely on Hilton to bail you out, and Hilton again is gonna deliver a 1v2 with the Clutch Master alive. Max, you don't have time to rotate this time around. You gotta destroy the drone and play oh, up, nice but with ping. you getting pinged out, this round is as good as over. Hilton again going on these charges. Look at that! The net confirmation, the spray down from that Phantom. They just played past the Phantom that round. Easy way to put it. Easy way to get double digits. Hilton has bailed them out as if he's the warden for this entire lobby, bro. Just again and again and again. Getting 3Ks and 2Ks just to go up more on these clutch situations. Honestly, if I'm SNHU, I'm dapping him up and I'm buying him as many cookies as he wants. If I'm if uh, if I'm Hilton right now, the rest of the team it's ten four. Again, a crucial round aspect that they so desperately need. Frank, early confirmation showing that the deadlock can actually replace a sky on the guy in light. In terms of that sonic sensor getting destroyed or tripped here, so they know there's a force of members from Malloy funneling up long, but a lot of utility being used. Jesus saves. Holding down the extremity, but again, timing an issue. Why did you wait to shoot Seikyo? What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> there was like a solid second delay here, but look at where Case is! Case, I wanted to see these devious lurks like you had an icebox, and um... granted, it's only good for one, but he delivered. And now, Nami's gonna try and pick up the slack with this Spotted. run it back, but they trip and fall, and again, it falls to Hilton! Of course, it's Hilton. Dude, okay, no pings this time, though, but they know where they are, holding towards the back of the site. Spotted again. by the net, the shot through triple, the spike not down as of yet, they got 40 seconds left to go. He's just peeking out so Lewis? confidently, but no one gets the kill. Hilton? Again, man, again and again and again. Bullets. He has eight bullets. Don't swing this. Wow. No. Okay, okay, you can swing it, Blitz. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why did he have his use of love, bro? Uh, you may have won the, 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 the battle, but I don't know if you won the war there. The ego has to hurt there. My, my concern, Ravish, is that... Yeah. That's the only round that Malloy was able to get yeah. for a while in the first half. I mean, look at it. It was the score of one to like six before they finally got another round on the board. But, but guess what? Now they're up against saves, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, of SNHU, and they don't know how to slow down. So. You're gonna run at them. Paranoia. And once again, yeah, they're just stacking the site. We're gonna see a full paranoia up here. Oh, Jesus. Very tracking. Unfortunate. Yeah. I don't know what Full flashed. But... I mean, okay. all right, Holy. I mean, yes, if you can't see, it's fine when your teammates are there to, to trade you out. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. Osplant ensues. Every frag this time going in Malloy's favor. 1v2. Hilton's still alive, mind you. Pace as well. Clutch Masters, mm -hmm. but. I think it seems like Malloy has learned their lesson not to solo swing these players. Hilton's just memeing. Shock darts in, trying to clear some of these corners, and uh, fortunately none of them are going to hit like ow. the eagle does! And <laughs> an oversight and overfocus on that Vandal upgrade gives Jesus, uh, saves the 4k, gives a 6 to Malloy, and they are still in this. They are? Round by round, they're slowly pulling it back. Mm -hmm. It's And they've... Uh, allow themselves at least, you know, to stay within a close enough margin. Where now they have two ultimates online, one away from maxes, so possibly four post plant potential. Yeah. And on the other end, SNHU, you got zip, nada, nothing. Economies and shambles. We see like a couple of light shields. It's it's a possibility. I mean, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, SNHU, they did struggle on ice blocks on their defense, surprisingly, with the with the comp, with the deadlock. But it's like this round might just be the the turnaround, the change of that narrative, of that kind of predisposition. So, Reventus in the one v three has thrash online and full utility. This is the best agent for this clutch kind of scenario, where you have utility. That can be used to bait for trades so you don't have to put your life on the line outright. My concern here is that B is double stacked. Both of the entry points on A have sonic sensors. So 
Rebentus, it, it feels like they're kind of out of options here other than to take a fight early on. Mm-hmm. Because that's just that. They know that if they can just out-aim them and kill them, you know, shoot, head, die, then honestly, who cares? Nah. I mean, that's a perfect bait and trade. And then, I mean, <laughs> and, you know, uh, Seikyo doesn't even lose their life, so that's the, uh, the better outcome. I mean, Malloy... Trailing now by five. Has a lot of ultimates and a, a decent buy to work with. <laughs> Holy gonna go for the judge and potentially ult approach, right? If they are able to get an early orb here from showers. That'd mm -hmm. be a nice play to see. The Bucky maybe as well. Just just the, the shotgun there. They're deciding which shotgun to use to get a weapon upgrade. Uh, prime delivery to them via the, the second dimension. But they have a lot of other ultimates to lean into for both a site take and a post plant follow up. So I, I understand why SNHU is going on the offensive here. Trying to get those early frags and early denials face here in the showers. Fortunately, though, it's going to be disrespected. And look at the annihilation. Look at the teleport. <gasps> look at the hot just hands. Like, there four sides. That's the trap. Dude, it's just it. It's 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 what is called. If you were part of old enemy, congrats. That's a glomp right there. It is just it is just the unadulterated strangle that nobody asked for, nobody wanted. What's gonna come at you no matter what? You yell it as it does too. It, <laughs> ridiculous it again now as it hits you on match point after all that. I mean, again, that was the kind of round that it doesn't happen every day, but when a trap play hit, it hits. And that one, you know, crashed into Malloy like a truck. They had all these plans to utilize these ultimates. Now they have five on the line and not a decent buy to back them up. So they they really have to not be afraid to invest them early on or they might be robbed of the opportunity to do so. I mean, look, another trap play. Seikyo, Paranoia, Nami ready with the first ball, but fortunately the bailout again, Max, indirectly the one to save them from an early demise. Orbital strike forces them off the angle. Nami barely getting away with their life. It's Who's all next? good early impacts from these ults and dimensional drift for a viper spit that's a nice combination here to be the entry force but the run it back <gasps> you're kidding hilton hilton you have to bail them out hilton hey, you're running out of time hilton oh Ooh, oh i mean you know what one for one fine we'll take it for now is it's still a possibility you're inside the pit you have the gecko ult as well and long the night falls so a lot available if needed, what the hell is both fall in conjunction? You need to hold. I don't care if Frank's the only one here. You hear the from the shadows. Uh, oh. You take a frag. There's the hunt. There's the night fall finally. Follow up with Gets the one. nice response as well. So Hilton should not be in a place to deny this just yet, but. Oh. oh. What? They, they, they can't even see you. They're still getting frags. Even out of the smoke. That's how He's it just is. shooting. Dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I I don't think they were kidding us. That's that's how that ends. Yeah, that's how it ends. <laughs> and and just like that, SNHU repeating history, two owing Malloy University again on one of the same maps. And uh, Lotus wasn't in this pool. Bind sure was, and they were just as prepared uh, i mean they changed the comps on the fly to adapt to both teams in that regard trying to develop trying to grow as squads and this time again snhu esports comes out on top the deadlock diff yeah it's i mean that hilton diff i think is definitely <laughs> that's a good evidence. factor too yeah yeah it's just uh it's incredible stuff clutch out of clutch and once again, SHU will not fall to Malloy for another day. Let's move on into finals. A spot at LAN S and semifinals just looks so easy for them. I have to imagine next week gets even better. Oh. And incredible stuff for their team. I now, can't wait as... for next week. If, oh, dude. if we so get fun. the rematch of a lifetime, all right? Uh, mm. I, 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 I'm an unbiased caster, of course, but as a caster, I also want a good storyline, a good show. So I was secretly rooting for SNHU just because. They lost to Utica Blue in their group 
And they got mm-hmm. three would in the grand finals of last season by Utica Blue. So it's kind of the new kids on the block that want to go to Texas versus SNHU who went to CEC last year. So we don't have the results from the other semifinals, but I'm rooting for it to be Utica University Blue versus this squad next week. Mm-hmm. I ideally so. But mm-hmm. for now, though, what we're going to do is we're going to prefer interview. We will really get one of the Sinachu homies in. We're going to get case. Just, just be able to come and talk to them. Uh, in fact, uh, it will not happen next week, but much later on online. So mm-hmm. we'll get to see them once more. So with that, we'll kind of do a break. When we come back, we'll get to hear from Sinachu. Stick around.
Homies, welcome on back once more. We have with us the homie Case to talk to us about how that game went. As soon as you just obviously won a first style game, but Case, I just want to ask you real quick, bro. Yo, have you ever thought about the, you know, when you guys are up, like, you know, like 10, 11, 12 rounds, that maybe you should, you know, just hold a site, you know, just vibe out, <laughs> wait for them to come to you with thoughts on that or not? Nah? Uh, honestly, we were having a lot of fun that game. Like, I, yeah, yeah, tell. I know. Comms, yeah. So <laughs> it did get a little goofy on our end, but usually we play a lot more discipline. Uh, you'll be seeing that once we're in land soon. And uh, it's about it for that one. Makes sense. And mm -hmm. I, I want to talk about your performance specifically on Icebox since it was one of your uh, stronger showings in this series. Mm -hmm. Specifically, how were you kind of able to consistently identify the gaps in the, the Molly defense and pull off these kind of catastrophic <laughs> lurk plays on the attack? <laughs> See, uh, usually we'd start with like set defaults at the start of the mm -hmm. round that my IGL would call. And uh, he would just tell me to just like play till I'm like last alive, just like bait really hard and try to give all the info I could. Uh, off of that, I've been, so last semester I played, I was like a flex player, but I switched to like Viper lurking this semester, mm -hmm. so it's a bit different. So I like really have to hone in on finding the timings and being able to find those gaps based off the information the other team gave me, it, like helped me out. So basically just any information my team feeds me, any information I see on the map that is when I just like activate that lurk and be able to do what I do. It's nice that your team has that trust in you and I'm glad you brought up uh, last semester because I'm, I'm truly hyping up a potential rematch between Utica University of Blue and mm -hmm. you in the grand finals. Nothing against obviously their opponent New York Tech and the other side of the semifinals. But I want to ask you what you think the new roster since only you and Seikyo have returned since the fall. And what do you think it'll bring to that rematch to change the outcome and repave your return to the CEC Lamb in Texas? Yeah, so uh, me and my teammate Seikwu, who came up both from the second team of our school, uh, we did take the hard loss last semester in the finals, and uh, we, we really put our mind into it. <clears throat> we're trying to come back this semester and do the best we can. Uh, right now, we're really locked in. We're practicing all these different comps, as you can see, like everything new, everything Love different, them. trying to innovate. So uh, it's kind of like a warning shot, I guess, to Utica. Like, we're coming back. This time, we want to take it. Mm, okay now considering you are now just weeks away from land as well too what i want to know is yo when y'all pull up to land are you gonna pull up iced out dripped out you look like just like, like like normal cells or not bro oh you guys will see we're we're planning the team fits right now Ooh, as okay. we're as gotta we're post pics and tag us on twitter <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah for sure <laughs> that's what I like to see and of course any final shout outs as well homie uh shout outs i'd like to shout out my team uh They've helped support me to where I am right now. Uh, my IGL Hilton, he like is teaching me so much about the game. I'm like a whole different player from last semester. Then there's like my uh, flex player, Frank, um, my smoke slash KJ, uh, Seiko, and then my duelist slash Devlock, Nami. Those guys <laughs> all help me. Like they all, all bring me up as a person. My life is so supportive because of them. I'd like to shout out my family too. Their, their love and support for me is like, really great for what i do especially playing games in college which is like crazy and i love that they support me and i love my family too that is oh. amazing to hear uh yeah very 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 heartfelt um and we want to thank you again for taking the time to interview with us to give us a little bit more insight into your team so we can see you know the faces behind the names but with mm -hmm. that that does include include the interview and again congratulations to snhu esports for being that first team to punch their ticket into the grand finals which will be played out at brooklyn on april 14th uh, i can't wait to see who who joins you <laughs> <laughs> i'd love to see who comes up to it's gonna be a, a great match hell yeah mm -hmm. all right good stuff brother you take care have a wonderful night and good luck again for the next week but with that the homies we have course uh, reach the end of our night as well. Big shout out to the production. You all for watching. Zobi for being here and going the entire day. Nice. And to all the teams that played as well. Right? We got one more match coming up next uh, for tomorrow. tomorrow. Of course, being Fisher College versus Webster for League of Legends at 8 p.m. Same time, same place. Finals again on Brooklyn. Couple more matches next week. Y'all make sure to stick around. But I've been Ravish and Gravish. Y'all have a wonderful night. Take care. Peace.